boy oh boy are you in for a treat because we are lucky enough to have Jason Joyce from the Isthmus here to tell us about everything that is going in and around the city of Madison. Jason, how are you this morning? I'm, I'm doing well, thank you. And Jason, actually, not only does he come in here and provide us with the coolest things that are going on around the city, he even helps us out on weather, telling us that it started to rain outside. Just a few coming. drops, nothing to, nothing, nothing nothing to worry crazy. about. All right, we got a lot going on this weekend. Yeah, we sure do. Where do you want to start? Let's start over at the Overture, and we're going to spend right. a lot of time at the Overture today and okay. tomorrow. Uh, the Children's Theater of Madison has a special production, um, and this has actually been shown around the country. It's called, uh, and then they came from me remembering the world of Anne Frank. Okay. It's a multimedia look at Holocaust survivors. There's um, uh, some film, photos, mm -hmm. sort of a multimedia thing going on along with live actors on the stage. Oh, wow. Four okay. children, uh, none under eight, um, you know, and, and it's really sort of targeted for 10 and up. Okay. And like a lot of these, uh, you know, really sensitive stories from history, um, they often are best understood by, you know, through art, you know, and so you can try to tell your kids about things like the Holocaust, but, you know, maybe taking them to a play, to a play like this is, is maybe the best way to sort of you know, let them know about what happened. I'm intrigued by that multimedia aspect of the show. Yeah, that you're I mean, there about. are there are interview filmed interviews with Holocaust survivors, which you know we're losing. You know, the survivors are starting to die now. Right. So this is an oral history that we're really going to lose out on. All right, when that's going on today? Yeah, that's going on uh, tonight, 7 p.m. and tomorrow, 2:30 p.m. over at the Overture Center. It's also on next weekend. Um, and look at ctmtheater.org for information. All right, what's next on your agenda there, sir? Uh, Four Seasons Theater, which is one of our more, uh, I guess, uh, you know, adult theater mm -hmm. uh, companies in town. They're presenting the Gershwin Songbook this weekend, and this is part of a series that they run uh, called the American Songbook that highlights, you know, American sort of classic music. Right. And nothing sort of defines American classic music more than the Gershwin Brothers. Right. Absolutely. So it's a jazz combo, singing, and if you love Gershwin music, if you love, you know, sort of American standards, I mm -hmm. mean, this is it. It's going to be great. People are going to love it. T again, tonight, 7.30, tomorrow, 2 p.m., over at the Overture Center. And this is a great way to support uh, Four Seasons Theater, which puts on... Uh, you know, many original theatrical productions of their own All every right. year. Now, can we make it three in a row? Can we stay at the Overture Center? Let's do it. Let's do it. Woo, we did it. All right. Yeah, everybody's talking about Dracula right yes. now. And Dracula is a really risky, sort of bold production from uh, the Madison Ballet, uh, actually written and created by the ballet's uh, creative director, W. Earl Smith, mm -hmm. music by Mike Massey, who many people might know. He plays oh, yeah. sort of a cocktail hour uh, piano gig mm -hmm. down at the Ivory Room often. Um, and uh, and so they put together Dracula with a sort of a steampunk theme to it. So this is risky ballet targeted at people who might not normally ever care about the ballet. This is definitely outside the box of Absolutely. the realm of ballet. Okay. Right, right. So that's going on uh, today, 2 p.m. and 8 p.m., tomorrow, 2 p.m. And those are your only opportunities to catch this. It was, I believe it debuted just last night, so people will probably be buzzing about it online today. MadisonBallet.org is where you get more information about that. All right, what else do we have, Jason? All right, I feel like we've been pretty serious so far. Oh, we're going to lighten it up now? No, we're going to get even more serious. Oh, we're going to get more serious. We're going to talk about the kind of animosity and battling that can go on between the states, brother against brother, sister against sister. Kentucky versus Tennessee, Appalachian Armageddon is what this is called. This sounds very heavy. I know. Stick with me here, right? I'm with you. I'm, I'm following you. Two very good local string bands, uh, sort of bluegrass roots music. Uh, Win Dixie and Count This Penny. Win Dixie's uh, personnel uh, hail from the great state of Kentucky. Count This Penny is from Tennessee. Okay. Uh, they all now happily reside here in Madison, and they're going to let us in on what, you know, sort of these old southern feuds are all about tonight. They'll be playing great music on stage at the Harmony, uh, and uh, with a lot of, I'm told, very special guests joining them on stage. And at the end, we're, we're going to have to decide who's better. Okay. Kentucky or Tennessee. Oh, well, Jason, we appreciate you for stopping by. Thank yeah, you so much. Thank you. Uh, if you get a chance, go and check out that old Southern feud uh, <laughs> and help decide who wins. Jason, right. again, we appreciate it so thank much. Thank you.